This video covers examples on specific energy and critical depth. You are given a trapezoidal channel with a base width of 5 feet, side slopes of 3 to 1. If the actual depth is 1 foot and the flow rate is 250 CFS, determine the flow regime. In order to determine the flow regime, you need to first calculate the Froude number. The Froude number is the flow rate divided by the square root of gravity times the area cubed divided by t, or top width. For a trapezoidal channel, the area is equal to the depth of flow times the quantity of the base width plus the side slopes times the flow depth. The top width is equal to the base width plus two times the side slopes times the, base, times the depth of flow. Plugging this in, we, with a base width of five, side slopes of three, and a depth of flow of one foot, we get an area of eight square feet and a top width of 11 feet. The Froude number as a result is 6.5. 6.5 is much greater than one, resulting in supercritical flow. In this example, if the Froude number was less than one, we would define this as a subcritical channel. Now let's look at the same example where we have a base width of five feet, side slopes of three to one, a flow depth of one, and a flow rate of 250 CFS. This time, we want to determine the specific energy. The specific energy is the depth plus velocity squared over 2g. We calculate the velocity as the flow rate divided by the area. The area was determined in the previous problem to be eight square feet. The velocity as a result is 31.25 square feet per second. Please note this is a very high velocity. The minimum energy is the depth of one foot plus the velocity head, resulting in a specific energy of 16.2 feet. Our next example has a similar case. You're given a trapezoidal channel with a base width of 5 and side slopes of 3 to 1. The flow rate is still 250 CFS. This time, we want to determine the minimum energy and the critical depth. In order to find minimum energy and critical depth, we need the specific energy equation. But because we are finding minimum energy, the depth of flow is substituted with the critical depth. And the Froude number equation to find critical depth by substituting the Froude number for 1 and setting it equal to the flow rate divided by the square root of g times the area cubed over the top width. First, we're going to solve for the critical depth by setting the Froude number equal to 1 and plugging in the necessary equations. So we have 250 CFS divided by the square root of gravity, 32.2, times the area cubed. And in this case, the area has the base width of 5, the side slopes of 3, and the unknown quantity of the critical depth, divided by the base width of 5 plus 2 times 3, times the critical depth. Now this is a quite complicated equation and would require a trial and error approach or a bisection rule approach. However, with the aid of Excel, we can use goal seek and determine that the critical depth for this channel is 2.65 feet. By plugging this in to the specific energy equation and, and determining the velocity of this channel, we determine that the specific energy is 3.5 feet. This is the minimum energy of the channel. These examples should provide you with further understanding of minimum energy, critical depth, flow regime, and specific energy.